Good morning, and welcome to our next episode of Satisfactory. Uh, where we left off, we were just about to enter this cave. Uh, we got a couple of stingers killed, so we're going to go ahead and head in. See what we can find. Raw quartz. No, oh, that's it? Aww. Alright. So we saw a couple stingers coming out. Uh, when we started this, so I'm expecting to see more stingers. I've already got my uh, rebar gun reloaded, primed, and ready to go. Hopefully, we find our first summer sloop in here. More stingers. I don't think I can get him. That's not going very far. Here they come. Got that one. Some vehicles are deadlocked, that's fine. The stinger is... Uh... Oh, behind this rock, I think. Yep. Alright, let's pick up all this mycelia so we can uh, do some mycelium uh, research. Looks like we got some copper over here. Or caterium or something. Caterium, yep. Alright, let's pick up all this mycelium. Oh, can't pick up that for some reason. If I had... Uh... Biomass on me, I could power my, uh... Chainsaw, but I don't. Solid pod fuel. I mean, I could take, I could take this out. Put half of it in there. Yep. There we go. Now we put our chainsaw in there. And now we can cut down this. Well, my Celia. Let's go to our rebar gun. Uh, we gotta get cut down some uh, of these guys. So let's go to our nuke. I missed. We got that one. Let's do a pulse. See if that'll take this one out. Yep, that one takes it out too. Now we take out this spire up here, reload. Or we can go ahead and go with the nuke one. I'll just throw it in the middle. up. I don't know how big this is going to be. About that big. Now I find out if that released the radiation. Yeah, it did. radiation did it release deadlocked okay where am I down here can we see radiation 
don't think so. We might have to research something. Well, the radiation's gone. There we go. Okay. Let's keep going through this cave. Uh, I want my flashlight. Thank you. There's some more limestone and uh, the uh, bacon thing. Bacon thing. another spider oh I missed I missed again all right let's go this way let's get another bacon thing we got some gold or some uh, caterium, I guess. Yeah, more caterium. All right, I saw the shimmerings of a slug on this side. this blue slug right, let's go ahead and go this way again see where it takes us out at What is that over there? Can we get there? It's deuterium on that side. There's a yellow slug right there. What am I doing? Of course we can get there. Gonna be able to shoot that guy from here. Oh, I missed him. Got him. That might be a summer sloop. Let's get this Caterium first, and there's a Another slug underneath the materium, looks like. Down there. Get the slug.
Yeah, that's a summer sloop. Okay, so this is what the summer sloop stuff looks like. The summer sloop was named after Marie Somerville, co-founder of Fixit and head of its R&D department. There are many theories about the origin of this shape and why this symbol mathematically resembling a Mobius strip has found its way to both human and extraterrestrial culture. Thankfully, you don't need to know any of these theories to be a pioneer. Research it in the MAM to establish locally appropriate classification and application. Fun fact. The planet you are on was found and named during a planet spotting event Marie hosted named, Marie's awesome scientific search of the avant-garde exoplanets. There's more coal right here. Alright, so we got our first summer sloop. That means we can go and find more. So let's research the summer sloop in the ma'am. It was close. So let's double the beams. Well, we can double uh, cables. We can double cables for now. All right. Uh, alien technology. Summer sloop. There goes the summer sloop. Summer sloop analysis completed. Summer sloops are somewhere between battery and conduit, harvesting energy from pockets of space with complete disregard for the rules of the space time continuum and distributing it into its connected ecosystem. This energy. Loving energies harvest until the waves reach our shores. Similarities to the hypothetical force of dark energy to potentially be one and the same. It can now be tracked by the object scanner. Alien technology. Alien energy harnessing. Let's do that one. Potential for harnessing alien energy completed. Fixit has identified two development tracks requiring additional research to integrate summer sloops safely and efficiently into Fixit technology. The loop organ contains scripture contains instruments to compose symphonies of root and rod and recycling. Shrines to evolution and revolution. Okay, so I to do the list. Circuit boards. Do we have any circuit boards in our high speed connectors? We don't have any circuit boards in our thing right now. Alright, let's see if we have any circuit boards over here. No. I have this one. Not in this one. See if we have any circuit boards in our then this one. Oh, 85. Well, there you go. What she got? You're stuck in the floor still. So we got some staters or nuts, whatever those are. All right, so let's drop these in. Drop the staters in. Drop the quartz in. Screws are fine. Hmm. 
Those are good. You can just drop some of those in. And plastic. Drop some plastic in. So we need 100 SAM fluctuators again. So we need a lot of SAM, I'm guessing. Let's grab some SAM out of here. So you have this fluctuators. We'll go ahead and look for that other summer sloop. Crafting bench. Sam fluctuators. Two. All right. Not enough space. Let's put one stack in there. There we go. There's space. Maybe did Sam. Why can't I do this? There we go. we can do it probably is uh, the same fluctuator takes three to do right yeah it takes three we don't have three so what we could do let's go ahead and find another summer sloop structure it's up there isn't it it's below us it above us. No, it's below us. It goes away. 
Yeah, it's below us. Okay. And this cave is open. But this doesn't go anywhere. It's still below us. sure it's this way unless it's up there it's right there it was in front of me the entire time. Oh, we gotta pick out one of those guys. Is it a pulse one? No, let's do the pulse. Oh, uh, you didn't die, okay. It's a jump puzzle. I can do the jump puzzle or I can just make some ramps. We'll keep the doing the jump puzzle. This is fun. Did I get it yet? Nope. There we go. Now we need to make all of the same fluctuators. Let's go back up and let's work on the Sam stuff. Sam fluctuators. And we can double the productivity of our beams because the uh, the auto wire is about to be done. Now we just need to get our beams to uh, get faster. Come on, dude. You guys are stuck again.
Uh, what can I put in there? I can put the circuit boards in there. No. Let's go back over to where the mam is. And let's make some more reanimated Sam. Actually, what we can do is we can probably do this. We can probably... This is what we'll do. We'll make a constructor right here. Sam. We're going to update, upgrade you to probably a Mark II. Mark II pole. Should be being made? No. There. Now you're making our stuff. Now we want a industrial storage. Yeah, we'll do industrial storage right here. the same fluctuators all right now we upgrade you now that you're let's see if this will keep going yep per minute. All right. Are you stacking up? No, you're not stacking up. We can just do this. Let's make a crafting table right here. Production session. Make a crafting bench right there. Now we're going to need wire now. Okay, let's go grab some wire.
wire should be stacking up in the should be in here it's stacked up in this one Gonna drop wire in there, okay. Uh, let's go ahead and drop this. This should be now filling up. How many tickets do we have? left in depot, no space left in depot. Alright, so you that you probably don't want to watch this. I'm gonna go ahead and make these SAM fluctuators off stream off stream off video and we will come back when it's at 99 to 100 flint sand fluctuators all right so thanks for hanging out and we will talk to you guys in the next one don't forget to like comment and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one deuces i'm out